worst NHL GMs, Jeff Gordon. On July 1st, 2015, Jeff Gordon replaced Glenn Sather to become the 11th general manager in New York Rangers history and remained in that position until he was fired on May 5th, 2021. During his tenure as GM, the Rangers were a rebuilding team, but being the big market team they are, they weren't patient enough to wait for the players to develop. This led to the Rangers screwing up those players' development and forced them to overpay players in free agency. Here are the worst moves made by Jeff Gordon as GM of the New York Rangers. Here are his worst traits, acquiring Eric Stahl from the Carolina Hurricanes for Alexis Sorella and two second round picks, trading Ryan Graves to the Colorado Avalanche for Chris Bigris, acquiring Brendan Smith from the Detroit Red Wings for a third round pick in 2017 and a second round pick in 2018, trading Ryan McDonough and JT Miller to the Tampa Bay Lightning for Vladislav Nemestikov, Labor Hayek, Brett Howden, a first round pick in 2018 and a second Second round pick in 2019, trading Brady Shade to the Carolina Hurricanes for a first round pick in 2020. Here are his draft mistakes. In the 2017 draft, the New York Rangers should not have drafted Elias Anderson over Nick Suzuki, Brandon Crowley over Noah Cates, and Dominic Lacautis over Carson Meyer. In the 2018 draft, the New York Rangers should not have drafted Jacob Ragnarsson over Connor DeWar, Nico Gross over Philip Kurashev, Lori Pujuniemi over Jaeger Sharangovic, and Simon Kelberg over Matthias Emilio Pedersen. In the 2019 draft, the New York Rangers should not have drafted Capo Caco over Marin Sider, Matthew Robertson over Nick Robertson, Carl Hendrickson over Albert Johansson, Hunter Skinner over Elmer Soderblom, and Levy Altonen over Raphael Harvey Pinard. In the 2020 draft, the New York Rangers should not have drafted Alexi Lafreniere over Tim Stutzel and Igor Sokolov over Topi Nimela. Here are his worst signings. Jacob Truba to an 8-year deal worth $8 million per season, Kevin Shankirk to a 4-year deal worth $6.6 .6 million per season, and Barclay Goudreau to a 7-year deal worth $3.64 million per season. The entire 2017 offseason was a mess. While it was the right decision to trade Derek Stefan and Antti Ranta to Arizona for Tony D'Angelo and his 7th overall pick, Lias Anderson was a bust and the cap room cleared up was used to sign Kevin Shankirk. Kevin Shankirk was signed to a 4 year deal worth $6.6 .6 million AAV, but he was bought out in 2019, so they couldn't have enough cap room to sign Artemi Panarin. The Ryan McDonough trade in hindsight turned out to be a terrible trade for the Rangers, as McDonough would go on to play a vital role on those Tampa Bay Lightning's championship teams. To make matters worse for the Rangers, they threw in JT Miller in the deal, and while JT Miller didn't fully blossom until he got to the Vancouver, the Rangers severely undervalued him. Both Alexi Lafreniere and Capo Caco were drafted by the New York Rangers with very high expectations. Lafreniere with the first overall pick in 2020 and Caco with the second overall pick in 2019, but both have failed to beat those expectations. While Jeff Gordon certainly can't be blamed for the development of those players, he can be blamed for not doing better scouting at the time of the draft to explore other options. Overall, Jeff Gordon had some great moments as Rangers GM, but some of his bad moves could end up really hurting the Rangers down the road.